baddies it's me again i apologize for the absence if y'all notice if y'all didn't notice then we could just keep going so you might see that my face is a little bare except for the exception of brows because i refuse to be seen without brows like on camera i guess so today we're gonna do my everyday makeup look i don't always wear makeup every day but when i do decide to put on like a face or whatever i do kind of repeat the same looks over and over again and we're just gonna jump right in. I am one of those girls where I do eyes before I do anything else. Um, you girls who are doing face, then eyes, um, I'm judging you. So I've just been at home, chilling, vibing, got some good news, and I'm like feeling myself. So um, right now, this is super old, but it's the um, it's MAC Blunt. I don't know if anyone can see that, but I'll put it on the screen. Um, it's just a matte brown eyeshadow, just because I feel like just to warm up my eyes and i'm using just a fluffy brush it's the mac 217 i got it a long time ago and i just kind of buffer it in there you know big deal nothing crazy doesn't have to be precise um i just like that it warms up my face personally so we're just going back and forth like i said the windshield wiper method is my go-to so guys i'm back on bumble that's been interesting so far i live in a predominantly white area so the fact that i'm matching with a lot of white guys is very on par and like for every one cool white guy there's like five who are fucking creepy um don't worry if you follow me on instagram i'm about to create a compilation of weird shit white men have said to me um sunday i had matched with this old guy this older white guy i was like okay you know he was handsome like regularly handsome i'm not like an ageist or anything uh we match i'm like okay cool no biggie now we're done i just want to warm up my eyes give it a little bit of dimension personally that's my preference um sometimes if i'm feeling spicy caliente i will add like um this shimmer eyeshadow that i got from urban decay years ago to just kind of like just to be festive so I'm just gonna concentrate some of the color just at the end of my eye, just to like give it a shape. Like I mentioned on this channel before, I really like that um, cat eye dimension. Um, just make my eyes look a little bit, I guess, longer, I guess. Um, I wish I could tell you how long it takes me to do my makeup. I've never really counted personally, but it, I do be taking a little minute. And now we're using the Smashbox uh, photo finish um it's almost at the end so i'm basically squeezing it out the tube this is this used to be the og primer for me but like i haven't really been using primer like that because skin has been like really dry but you know for the purpose of habit i do still use primer so so we're getting in there rub 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 I don't put foundation on my forehead. I feel like if you get like a really good foundation, you don't necessarily need to put it on your forehead. And sometimes it just like gets into your hairline and that's just not a cute look personally. So when y'all see me doing my foundation, you're gonna be like, bitch, why is it not on your forehead? And I'm about to be like, that's why I don't do that. <laughs> so I just have this MAC um, mascara called Upward Lash, Upward Black. It actually, I got it 20 million years ago. I really like the bristles on it. Yeah, really. Mm. Um, it came in some holiday package that I got from my sisters. And I like, like again, like I've said before, I don't really care. I'm not really like picky about mascara. As long as you elongate, make me look like a baddie. Look at that annoy me as well. I don't really care what they do. Um, I don't always wear falsies every day just because it takes me at least 30 solid minutes. I'm just trying to attempt to do bottom lashes. Because I don't have a mirror with me. Like, so. That is it. You know, even without the foundation, I still look like a beat queen. Um, I actually, next I'm going to use the Rimmel Last, Lasting Finish 25 Breathable Liquid Foundation. I mix these two, um, the Deep Mocha and the Mocha just because, uh, I guess because my skin is such an awkward position, like, um, you feel me? So I just like blend the two. 
personally. Um, I actually got them at Walgreens for $1.99 because they were doing something. I do like the applicator. You put the foundation everywhere. La 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 la. We look crazy, but isn't all art crazy? Exactly. And now we're just mixing the deep mocha. We'll put some on the nose. So, um, I'm back on Bumble. Yeah, a lot of creepy white guys. Um, I'm trying to expand my horizons because while I was on the island, I would have talks with Anya. We, after, in between studying, we would just have like hearts to hearts. And I'd just be like, you know, she'd be like, do you, you know, you gotta expand your horizon. Not like lower your standards, but expand it. Like I'm trying to change my preconceived notion of what my significant other is supposed to look like. Like in my mind, I feel, feel like I'm supposed to be with someone who looks like Idris Elba, but what if I'm supposed to be with Idris Elba is shorter, but so each other. You know, so I'm trying to expand my horizons and give guys who I normally don't talk to short men like at all. Like if anything, if any of my exes could say anything, they were very average height. And that was only because they approached me first. And I was like, all right. And they won me over. But if it was just like up to me, I personally would not date a man under 5'8". So now we're just brushing this foundation. Swirl, swirl, swirl. I do go down the double chins. I have one, so you know I gotta make sure that they're both covered. Um, I prefer buildable. I prefer medium coverage foundation just because it's easy to build. You know, like it's not thick. I will say this foundation is very breathable. Like it lives up to its name. So I'm um, just make sure everything is covered one time for the one time. So yeah, I'm trying to give guys that I normally wouldn't be like wouldn't normally approach. They have to be college educated. That's something I'm not gonna settle on. Um, I will say that before my past, I have dated a lot of blue collar men, which isn't, um, I'm not knocking blue collar. It's an honest profession. And like those people work very, very hard and deserve all types of respect. But just in terms of like me and my lifestyle, gotta cover the mustache, I'm sorry. And a few dots that I've acquired somehow, despite not going anywhere. You know, like pimples just be popping up, and I'd be like, "Why?" Like I'm about to be bleep, 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 bleep old, and a bitch still got pimples, and it's just like, when will my suffering end? So like I'm like chilling, we're vibing, we're vibing, guys, right now. Okay, now that I feel like I got the right amount of coverage, we. <laughs> You looking cool. You look a bro. Okay, yay, boo boo. Sign us up, okay? Top model who? Top model where? <laughs> I'm kidding. So now, I got this beat up Anastasia Beverly Hills um, contour kit cream. I definitely prefer cream. It's just easier to blend. Um, I use this top shade. This set is the medium. I feel like the medium is really sufficient for someone of my complexion. It's my go-to. I use my fingers. That's why I would never hide the bag so people know that I'm not. I look like a decent human being. Dab, 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 dab. I know everyone says to do a triangle, but like, if you're doing it correctly or applying it correctly, you can kind of just drag it down into a triangle. I've recently started doing this and I kind of like the way I look. It photographs really well. Like in person, it can seem really um, daunting and like, I'm looking for my beauty blender, sorry. It could be really daunting. So yeah. So like I said, trying this new thing of giving guys a chance. Wetting my beauty blender. And you know what? Even though there's so many dupes for the beauty blender, the original is still my go-to. I've tried that Real Techniques one and like I found it a little too firm and like I feel like it can't get it wasn't as flexible as the beauty blender, personally. Um, not knocking anyone who, I mean, everyone has their own preference, but I prefer the original. And then y'all had that silicone shit that y'all were trying to do, but I was like, no. Um, you know, it makes me look awake, which I really, really love. 
and I tried to do the side of my nose because I desperately want a nose job like I have been asking for a nose job since I was like 17 or some shenanigans I've been asking for one for a while <laughs> just to like let's get rid of this tip and like make this a little smaller of course like I keep saying dab 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 on this fucking channel and shit um yeah so i'm trying to be open-minded and who knows what's unfolding it's been interesting a lot of weirdos for every weirdo there's like one i really vibe with and i'm like okay um yeah i'm giving it a chance i keep y'all updated if i go on a date because sometimes i'm one of those people like i'll be on a dating app with no intention of ever meeting up with any of those men and i'll be like mm, i'm wasting everybody's time your time my time i'm wasting my limited data i mean my unlimited data all that other shit so it looks crazy now okay i know she's very controversial i know she deserves all the flack um i hope she's vaccinating her newborn child um no she just uh sold the company to someone else but this shade on light y'all chef kiss <laughs> um is it yeah it's unfortunate. I actually got this at Marshall, so don't think I paid like full Kat Von D prices at Sephora. A girl did not do that. Boo boo. We got this at Marshall's. Um, I alternate between these two shades, which is Subconscious and Shadow Play. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm using a tapered uh, angled brush from Elf. I love Elf for brushes. Cause I know. If you don't know what to get me for Christmas, Elf brushes or a gift card you know we're going down just to set the under eye it is a little powdery but like i'm not mad at that i guess oh shit <laughs> i grabbed some of the wrong powder i'm like no just concentrate it so it doesn't look crazy I know I still look crazy, but I don't mind. It's like an instant nose job. Um, I'm just gonna keep patterning. Of course, go up there. Uh, yeah, so I'm trying to give people a chance and not. I think that's always been my issue, even when I was at Howard, it's like, I found my group of people, and then I, like, never try to expand, and, like, now that I'm older, I'm like, I feel like I missed out on a lot, because I was kind of, um, you know, keeping to myself, keeping to my group, which I, like, I love my people, like, um, I love the people I picked, they're my people for a reason, and now we're gonna use the Iman Press Powder Foundation, I don't know what the shade, I think it's, like, Terracotta 3, um, it is, I've hit pan on that bullshit. I actually also got this from Marshalls as well. Do not sleep on Marshalls, ladies. Especially if you're like me. So we're just trying to give some dimension. I mean, just clear it up to make it look less ashy, I guess. I know you're like powder on top of powder, bitch. Yes, my skin is dry. I can get away with it now. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we're just trying to give people a chance. We're trying to expand our horizons. We're just trying to thrive. Like my logo on my um, YouTube channel page says, simply thriving. That's what we're trying to do. Trying to give people a chance, trying to flourish. Okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna contour with that same eyeshadow that you saw me warm up my face. Because I feel like after I've done all of this, my face is gonna look really flat, I guess. And I wanna like warm it up. Um, this is just an angled contour brush from e.l.f. again. has like a little doo -doo -doo in it. And then we're just going in. I just swirled, dab, dab, dab. I know some of y'all are gonna be like, bitch, you're not doing it well, right? And I'm like, listen, sis. We're gonna just, I'm just doing this, I guess, like a form of bronzing, I guess. Keep sucking in my cheeks. I could. I personally like the way it looks. Um, you don't have to follow this makeup routine to a T. And then I'm gonna use my pressed powder brush to like brush it out, I guess. Like I've said on this channel, I am not no 
official makeup artist never gone to school for it so a lot of this i just learned from youtube and um i worked at ulta for a brief time so i picked up a few tips and bits so i'm going to use the mariah carey this is called my mimi unfortunately this was a limited edition but i love it it had a picture of her face on it i try to save for like special occasions but it's just such a nice shimmery gold do the tip i did the cupid's bow you know rihanna letting people know that i want rihanna's cupid bow so badly and we're just gonna highlight the top of our skin. Just like warm it up. Just make it sparkly, but like, ooh, that bitch sparkling. Yeah, my fucker. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. We sparkling, bitch. I saw a period. Uh, yeah, dating's interesting, I guess. Now we're gonna use, I normally just grab whatever lip gloss, um, I have closest to me or like has sparked my interest at the time the lip colors change every day like but this face itself remains the same but the lips always change so today we're going to use queen cosmetics which is a woc beauty owned brand check her out i'm gonna leave her info down below really great stuff this is the lip gloss in the shade milky way and uh it's just like a nice iridescent color Uh, really comfortable they don't really have a smell to it if you're like expecting it to be like a like a real smell to it because that's there is none but i love the packaging i think she's since then changed it this is kind of old i've been having shit for like 20 million controlling years so like don't listen to me it's super comfortable and really cute and that's my period period poo Anyway, folks, that is my everyday makeup. Wait, I'm with that. You do some leftover color to just sharpen these cheekbones, I guess. So anyway, guys, that was my everyday makeup look. Thank you for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Um, leave some comments. Let's answer about what is your everyday look. What do you do? What do you not do? Um, I would... Uh, if I had some extra time, depending on my schedule, I would do a like, cat eye, but I'm just not feeling like doing one right now, personally. But we stand a good wing eyeliner look. And that's on what? Capitalism. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up, like I said. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.